Hey, Crafty Friends, it's Amanda with Pear Blossom Press. I'm super excited to have Jen Gross guest designing on the channel today. She's going to walk you through this fantastic light up card as part of the Superheroes Everyday Hop. So take it away, Jen. Hi, welcome to the Superheroes Everyday YouTube Hop. This is Jen Gross and I'm guest designing for Pear Blossom Press. I love this card. It's a light up card and here are some of the fun components we're going to be using to create this card, the different stamps and dies. This is Healthcare Annie. I've already colored her with alcohol marker and these are the easy lights by Pear Blossom Press that are going to light up our cityscape and our little explosion area. The printed paper and the papers and cardstocks I'm using include also acetate and some vellum. So this is everything that we will be using to create the card today. It's a slimline card, so it's one of those long, tall cards. So we're going to take the printed paper and I'm going to take a 4x4 four four piece of plaque and create my cityscape. This is a die that I have in my set. Also, I have already pre-stamped the comic halftone dots in lemon drop on a piece of 4x4 four four paper. I'm taking my Misty. I have my sentiment already in here. It is a retired sentiment and I am taking a piece of post-it to cover up one word. The word my is not needed. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp that down. I'm going to make a crisp stamp, so I'm going to go ahead and cover up the word my again, ink that up one more time, and then stamp it down, and we have a crisp sentiment. Now we're going to take my guillotine, and I am using the piece that is one inch by nine and sixteenth by three and a fourth inch glossy black cardstock for the background to frame out this sentiment. So I'm going to cut it to fit, and you can see I'm just doing the measurements here to make sure that there is going to be that border or around uh, the sentiment. I'm also going to do some freehand corner rounding right here. Um, nothing too major, just kind of letting the paper be the guide and I'm not moving the scissors as you can see. I'm going to use my tape gun to adhere that to the black background and then I'm also going to go ahead and round out these corners and that is going to create the sentiment for the top of the slimline card. So there we go. Also I have a piece of gray I'm going to use my tape runner for. It looks like it looks like cement so I figure it's the base of the cityscape and now we want to outline the windows. This is going to be an opening for our first easy light that we're going to use. The easy light has three different lights. So we're going to take the X-Acto knife and a cutting mat and just cut out this area here. It will allow the light to shine through. And then you'll notice that after we get this cut out, I'm going to take a piece of vellum and I'm going to color it with my Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend marker. It is the citrus yellow. And we're just going to color that in. So that's going to be the color of the lights. And we're going to set that aside. Now I want to set up my cityscape and the um, sentiment so I can place this little explosion die. I'm going to set this down and tape it down with some purple tape and run it through my die cutting machine. When it comes back, we want to keep that back portion, that negative space um, of that explosion. We're going to use that later in the card um, to help help with the, um, I guess it's going to give a little bit of interest. So we're going to go ahead and bring out the Misty again. And now we're going to take the little explosion stamp and a piece of acetate. I am not using a magnet for the acetate, but I am using Hushed Darkness and it's a hybrid ink by iCrafter. This is great ink to go ahead and use on on variety of surfaces, including acetate. Now you'll see it comes out pretty darn clear and crisp. I've already pre-stamped it. It does need to set overnight so that the ink is not going to smear. And I also used um, a mango color to create the, the variegated dots. Now this is the Carly alphabet. I'm using the word U and the exclamation point, and this is going to go in the explosion opening of our light up card. So I'm going to go ahead and run that through our, through my dye machine but I am also going to um, 
take this apart and notice that the U is not a full U. I missed a little edge of it. So I'm going to go ahead and take some more glossy, um, glossy cardstock and put that through. So there, now we have the full word U. Now let's go ahead and place the piece of acetate behind our opening. I'm using just regular um, scotch tape. There we go. I'm going to put a piece at the bottom, keep that in place. And now I'm going to take my tape runner and I'm also going to use some glue. The glue I use is a um, pH adhesive. It's great um, when you're putting down things that are interactive or movable. So it will help adhere our acetate and our vellum to the front of, or to the back of the card. I'm also taking a stamp I'm going to use a little later. It says Press Me, um, and it is part of the Lawn Fawn collection. Now we're going to take the word U, and this opening is where we're going to place it. So I want to kind of line that up and use my glue and place that just so it lines up in this opening of the explosion. We're going to hide our easy lights behind some of these, but it's also going to make it stand out as it lights up from behind. So um, all these are little pieces, so I'm using my tweezers, which are very helpful, <laughs> especially this little tiny part of the exclamation point. So there you go. Those are all in place. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to use the tape runner and some glue to put the sentiment on. And then we're also going to do the cityscape too. So there, we've got that centered up on the top and uh, we're going to bring back that cityscape. We're going to use the tape liner and we're also going to use glue. We're, there's some openings around the windows um, that we can go ahead and make sure we've got glue in. This will help it adhere to the front of the card. Also get those high points that uh, the tape runner won't get as well. So let's go ahead and glue this onto the front of the card. Our card front's almost basically done. So now we're going to go ahead and turn it over and we're going to use our easy lights. So the easy lights are great. It's a battery pack with a switch and three lights attached to it on wires. I am putting a piece of double-sided adhesive behind the battery pack because I'm gonna use that later on to make sure it adheres to the card. And you're gonna see me pressing the button many times. And this first time was to make sure I know where I need to put my press here stamp. And we go ahead and put that on the front and that is where we are going to line it up. I use a fourth inch double-sided foam tape. I actually am using two layers of it. Oops, there's a little piece of the city that's overlaying, so I cut it off, but go ahead and um, remove the tape and adhere that. It's going to kind of frame out our um, Easy Light battery pack, and when you use double the amount, of tape, it actually is the same height, which is important. That way um, it allows your switch to um, be a little loose. Um, if you use only one line, it would have your switch um, be tight and it would be on most of the time. Now I am positioning the wires um, so that I can go ahead and put the lights where I want to. And you will notice that the lights have two um, wires to them, a red and a blue. And this is helpful because the lights are going to shine um, one way, there's going to be a front and a back to them. And now I'm putting down a piece of foam adhesive, and this is going to help me position the light face down towards the window. And the second piece of foam adhesive is going to secure it. I'm also going to do this to the top of the explosion area here. I'm going to center the first wire behind the exclamation point face towards it. Um, again, right there. And then I'll peel off this other piece, um, exposing the adhesive, and put this other light facing down on the Y of the U. Then we're going to go ahead and cover up those pieces of foam tape to secure those lights in place. Now we're going to go ahead, see it works, and frame out the card. I want to frame out this first piece. I like to, it's an enclosure for the light, and so the light is not going to shine in any part of the card but this area. And then I'm adding the second piece of tape by the edge to secure the battery pack in place. And I'm going to go ahead and do the other side I am not putting this tape to the very edge. There is a little bit of a lip there. Um, if some adhesive um, doesn't reveal, you can go ahead and use your tweezers to remove some of that backing. And then here again, I am going to put some layers in the middle. This goes right above the explosion and then right at the top of the card. Again, double doubling up the adhesive foam tape as you do this. Now I want to go ahead and adhere those other wires down and position this in the back of the card face down so that that print is seen on the other side. So I'm putting a couple pieces of foam tape, um, double doubling it up again, 
so that I can make sure we have a platform for that backing. And then I'm finishing up creating that box so that's where the light's going to go. It's not going to go anywhere else in the card. So let's skew this just a little bit and tape it down. And you see that it lights up really well. Now I am removing the tape from the middle of the card, um, exposing the foam, and I'm only peeling back a portion of it at the top. This allows you to really, um, really do a good job of centering your, your card front on that card base. When you put it down, you go ahead and check it out, and then you just peel that um, backing down and release release it so that the adhesive and the foam go together and you've got your card and now we're going to stick healthcare annie at the bottom and we have created our card with easy lights thank you so much for stopping by superheroes everyday youtube pop and please don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe for your chance to win one of our giveaway prizes your next location will be located in the description box below enjoy the rest of the hop this is jen gross guest designer for pear blossom press what a fun card. Thanks for sharing, Jen. If you like today's video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and be sure to head on over to Jen's channel. Over there, you can click subscribe, find the link to the next stop in the hop. And we've got links to all of the products that she used both here and on her channel in the description. If you'd like more information on easy lights, you can find them here as well. And as always, my friend, thanks for watching.